So hey everyone, how's it going? Jamie Wagner here again. Hey, thanks a lot for watching my video here. I'm going to show you guys how to perform a factory reset using the Android Device Manager built into your Google account and that is available to you. I'm going to show you how to enable it on the phone here and we'll go in and play around with the features quick and hopefully that helps you guys uh, be able to go in and, and try this on your own. I definitely recommend enabling it and trying it uh, before you do lose your phone or your device. So this does not work if your devices are turned off. Um, if you do not have a data connection or a Wi-Fi connection, you probably won't. This is not going to probably work. So it won't be able to ring, lock, or erase your device like you know it's able to do if you're not online. And currently, right now, I'm online using Wi-Fi, so I shouldn't have any issues with it. And I'm actually just going to show you guys how to do it right here from my PC computer desk my desktop computer so let's go ahead and get started here I'll show you guys and, and we'll talk a little more about, about it as we go so go into your all apps and what you want to do is go to your Google find your Google settings app go into Google settings when you guys first go into Google settings you're gonna actually have this page here and you know come down to where it says Android device manager so once you're in the Android device manager uh, you want to make sure that both of these are checkmarked. Remote, remotely locate the device and allow remote lock and factory reset. Okay, make sure they're both checkmarked. Also, before you do this, you know, make sure you guys had your phone backed up. Make sure that you sync all your stuff to your Google account, or you back this phone up, or your phone, or whatever device you're using, because this is again going to perform a factory reset, and you're going to permanently, you know, erase everything on the phone. So. Sync up your stuff and make sure your stuff's backed up before you do this. Um, the other thing here you want to do is I'll set the phone down. I'll have to show you on the computer. So once you make sure you enable the Android Device Manager settings in there, all you got to do is go to your, basically go to your Google Play account and make sure that you are logged in. And over here in the corner, you're going to see this little gear. And what you want to do is click that gear and come down to where it says Android Device Manager. Click your Android Device Manager and you're going to see that there it says Nexus 7 locating device and it's going to find the device and you know give you the information there um, on its location and all that good stuff. This, this feature right here allows you to select between your devices that you have registered in your Google account. So again, I said we're using the Nexus 4 here, so I'm going to select my Nexus 4. And if you can see down here, it says ring, lock, or erase. If I select ring, it says ring device. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click ring, and we're going to take a look at the phone. And as you can hear, you're going to get that little symbol, this little Android device symbol right there. And that'll do that for about five minutes, okay? So basically what that's doing is ringing your phone. So in order to turn it off, just press the power press the power button, and that'll turn it off. So what I'll do is I'll put my password back in, but that'll shut it off. So say you lost it somewhere in the house, you can go ahead and click that ring button. And as long as, like I said, as long as you either have a Wi-Fi connection or you, you know, have cellular, you're somewhere in the house where you know you have cellular, like cellular connection, um, there are some dead spots, so um, I did try it on cellular, and I had a couple issues with it. Um, it has to be in an area where it can pick up a signal um, in order for it to work. Okay, and the other thing we're going to do here is I'll walk you through and show you how to, if you go to where it says lock, um, basically all you do is put your like a passcode in there, and click lock and it'll automatically lock your phone. So you'll have to put the password that you put in here in your phone to unlock it. Um, so that's that's a pretty cool feature there. But we're gonna go ahead real quick here and do the factory reset. So what you wanna do is click erase and here it says, okay, erase all data. And you can read what it says there. Everything's gonna be deleted. It says Android Device Manager will no longer work. Once you get your phone set back up um, and gone again, 
and you get everything registered and you re, you know refresh everything it does work again that that that's not like long term it's just because you know once you perform the reset you'll have to go in and make sure that the settings are re-enabled and, and all that stuff so it says this reset is permanent and uh, there is also another good one there it says we may not be able to wipe the content on SD card in your device so I'd probably remove your SD card just in case you don't want this stuff on there deleted in case it actually by accident or somehow it recognizes it and does erase it just pull it out of your device before you do it but if again if your device is lost you're you know you're not going to have that option so but this is just a method and an option to show you guys how to erase it so um, and there it says if device is offline it, it'll perform a factory reset as soon as it comes back online so if you click er if we click erase and I'll click it and I'm going to show you guys if you watch the phone it's powering off all by itself and again if if it's lost, it's powered off, this won't happen until someone powers it on. So there's a few different options and a few different ways to, you know, think about how this may work uh, before you guys do it. That's why I said get in here and experiment with it. And there you can see it performing a factory reset. I mean, it's basically hands-free factory reset. It's, it, it's another option to... Uh, wipe your phone and this will put us right back to factory like it's gonna um, like I said I tried this already I'm running KitKat 4.4 when the welcome screen come up all I did was enter in all my stuff and I was right back to Android uh, KitKat 4.4 so It's a really cool option. This works with my Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet also. I'll show you guys on the screen then what, what the Android device manager is showing once we get the welcome screen here to show you guys that it fully performed a factory reset. I'll tell you what, like over a Wi-Fi connection, it works like awesome. I mean, it's almost instant that it locates my device and, and uh, as soon as I click erase, I mean, it's, you know, it's already happening within five to 10 seconds. You know, there's no guarantee that this will work every single time, but but it's one method and a and a good opportunity to try. It may be the only you know chance you have to locate your device. If you you know you could try this at a friend's house, leave your phone over at your friends. When you come back home, you know have your friend help you. They could watch the phone, and you could log into your account here and, and erase it just to see how it works. If someone does steal your phone, like it's stolen, or your device gets stolen, um, and you can locate it because you have these services enabled, then you know you guys definitely want to contact law enforcement or whatever uh, before trying to go to somebody's house or something like that. You know, uh, get the police involved and show them that you're using the Android device manager and that that'll probably assist them and doing whatever they need to do to uh, help you get your your phone back but there you are right back to the welcome screen and I'll show you what it says once I did that <clears throat> it says factory reset and it'll tell you when and when it was last used so that is pretty much my video on how to perform the factory reset on the Google Nexus 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys give this a shot. So please subscribe to my channel and please like my video and I'll see you guys later.